In today's Health Watch, glioblastoma. It is one of the most common and aggressive forms of a brain tumor. More, most of the 14,000 people who get the diagnosis will not live more than two years. But as Local 5's Caitlin Corbett tells us, there's a new method that might change that. Despite the aggressive nature of glioblastoma, treatments have basically remained the same since 2005. Now researchers are looking at ways to make a person's own body attack the tumor. My hand, my finger, two fingers uh, got numb. Those were the first signs something was wrong with Fran Noonan. Not long after, she was diagnosed with a glioblastoma. They gave me um, anywhere from six months to 14 months to live. The standard of care for these types of brain tumors hasn't changed in almost 20 years, and odds of long-term survival are slim. It's about a 100% recurrence rate, and it usually occurs around the nine-month mark. Now, a team at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill is hoping to turn the patient's own immune system against the tumors. It's an interesting approach to uh, essentially a personalized tumor vaccine. Patients undergo brain surgery to remove as much of the tumor as possible. Then scientists take tumor cells, kill them, and put them in special chambers that contain nucleotides that help turn on an immune response. Doctors then insert the dime-sized chambers just under the skin in the abdomen. And so they're basically like little uh, traps for the uh, irradiated tumor cells that are stimulating an immune response. Two days later, the chambers are removed. But now the immune cells in the body know what a tumor looks like, and they can go on and attack it in the brain. Killing the cancer cells and giving patients new hope they'll win their battle against glioblastoma. Researchers hope that this technique will not only be used to battle glioblastomas, but other cancers, in particular ovarian cancer. And that's your Health Watch. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett.